You know, the final bill of my wife's last 28 days in intensive care unit at UCLA came out to $2.3 million. Uh, it's a crazy number. So when someone says alcoholism only affects me, doesn't affect anybody else, uh, you know, I'm only, I'm only uh, you know, putting myself in harm's way. You're actually putting everybody in the world in harm's way because the cost of health care is astronomical and unnecessary you know, mental issues like alcoholism that are completely preventable uh, if people take the right action. Uh, so it affects everybody. It affects families, it affects the alcoholic, and certainly society. If someone gets behind the wheel of a car uh, and kills innocent people, so it affects everybody, uh, make no mistake. But $2.3 million was something that took me a while to get over. And again, one of the reasons why it was so expensive because they actually performed 12 operations during her last few weeks. Uh, they kept going in, in fact, they kept her incision open because there was so much infection in, in, in her vital organs, in her pancreas, her liver, her heart, uh, her kidneys, and you know, uh, uh, I believe she was having problems with her uh, stomach as well because it had been removed at one time. So her intestinal tract was kind of messed up. But they kept coming in trying to clean out all the infection so that uh, her major organs would work. Uh, a lot of this I didn't realize was going on. I mean, they would call me up at 3 o'clock in the, in the morning, in the middle of the night. You know, we have to do a emergency procedure and we just need your okay. And I'd be half asleep and say, okay. You know, uh, and her heart stopped twice, so that, that I'm sure that was fairly expensive. And they would call me up in the middle of the night. Uh, you know, we, we need your okay to do some radical procedure. And, you know, again, it was always three, four in the morning. Uh, and I would just say yes, and I, without really an understanding of what was going on. Uh, you know, thank God uh, I'm an insurance agent and we had good insurance. But uh, the end result of alcoholism is astronomical. Uh, and it's not just my wife's case, it's, it's a fairly common case. Alcoholism costs astronomical amounts of money to society. You know, again, on that note, if somebody doesn't have the resources, they don't have insurance, so what do they do? I mean, how many times do you hear somebody, uh, they discover them in a ditch somewhere, they're, you know, they find their body, you know, they're, they're homeless uh, or some other horrible situation. Uh, a lot of people out there don't have anybody left. They don't have any friends. They don't have any family uh, because they've, you know, they've been gone down this road of alcoholism and addiction for so long. Uh, there's nobody truly in their life uh, that can really look out for them, uh, and it's a sad state. It's really a sad state to be in. Not a place anybody wants to go to. And the reason why I talk about it today. It's because it should act as a deterrent because if you continue to drink and drink and drink your whole life, uh, it's not going to end well. I mean, it's, it's just, it's going to be horrible for you and for everybody in your life, period. So really what I'm getting at is the options are pretty bleak if you continue down this road with an alcoholic career. Uh, the end is pretty horrible. Nobody thinks about the end when they're drinking a six pack of beer at night or 10 beers or they're drinking vodka, they're hiding that. They're drinking bourbon, they're drinking wine, drinking a couple bottles of wine. They don't really think about what the end result's gonna be in 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Uh, but there is no mistaking, the, the end result will come uh, and it's not gonna be the one that you want. Okay, so, and again, if you have a loved one uh, who's struggling with alcoholism or if that, if that person happens to be yourself, Click on the link in my bio, schedule a breakthrough call in the calendar link. Uh, you know, I, I can set up a blueprint of where to go, what to do. And if you do come on board with me, uh, we will get you to sustainable sobriety. And again, please like, share, and comment. We also have a Facebook group called Amanda, a cautionary tale. It's becoming a very good support group. And again, thanks for listening.